A partially paralyzed student dumped in a trash can in an apparent case of bullying at Hilltop High School. It's a story that we you first saw right here on 10 News last week. Investigator Melissa Macias is here now, and we understand that the Sweetwater Union High School District uh, finally answered some of your questions about this. Yeah, they're giving us a little bit more information. You know, a number of students told us since we've been covering this on Friday, the principal wasn't being tough enough on the bully. Now, today, the district said they've done everything by the book. Students contacted 10 News after they say a partially paralyzed boy was changing for PE. That's when another boy allegedly picked him up and dumped him in a garbage can like this. Not only that, we're told the bully called his friends over to laugh at it all and recorded it, then posted it to Snapchat. Since then, a firestorm online. We've been flooded with emails and messages to the principal for not being tougher with the bully. Today, I went to Hilltop High School. Someone at the front desk told me the principal was not available but was on campus. This afternoon, I finally heard back from the district. A spokesperson said over the phone, we've been working with Chula Vista PD since day one. They stayed a part of the process. She also said the information stating that the school did not take action is incorrect. Everything was done right on time and in the proper way. She added consequences have been applied to the student at fault. Now, the interesting part here is when we spoke to Chula Vista police on Friday, they told us they had no idea about the incident. Mm. The district spokesperson couldn't say what consequences the student faced, but at least two sources say the boy at fault left the school. The spokesperson added the families of those involved are supportive of the decisions that have been made. So ongoing saga, we'll see what happens. Good news is the boy's back in school. That's the, yes. the great news. Mm -hmm. All right, thank you, Mel.